Hey guys and welcome to a item guide for the cycle aluminium scrap. This item weighs 10 and it can also stack up to 10 as well per stack. And now for where the item spawns. Starting off with bright sands it can spawn around the crash ship as well as down in the dig site, around the comms tower as well as the base camp and the east collection point. When it comes to Crescent Falls, it is extremely common over by the favela, as well as the lakeside building, green prospects, as well as the starport admin area. Now, for me personally, the best locations I had over on Bright Sands was the comms tower and the base camp. And then personally, the best location in Crescent Falls that I had was around the starport admin, as well as the landing pad. These were the most common locations for me in finding them. These items do commonly spawn in dumpsters, civilian lockers, as well as industrial crates and hidden stashes that are normally tier 3 and above, and that is for all of the containers. And now to start off with the crafting, the oil pump beacon, you need 49,000 K marks, 12 hydraulic pistons, 12 aluminium scrap, as well as 200 ICA scripts. The auto loader, you need 7,700 K marks, 5 aluminium scraps, 1 shock absorber, as well as 5 hydraulic pistons. And then when it comes to the rare helmet, you need 7,600 K marks, 2 of the aluminium scraps, as well as 2 of the rattler skins. And now for the rare restoration helmet, you need 7,600 K marks. Two of the aluminium scraps, two rattler skins, as well as two glowy bright cap mushrooms. And then for the rare tactical helmet, you need 7,600 K marks, two aluminium scrap, two rattler skins, as well as one interactive screen. And then when it comes to the small suppressor, you need 4,900 K marks, three aluminium scrap, five hydraulic piston, as well as one smart mesh. The medium suppressor needs 4,900 K marks, three aluminium scrap, five hydraulic piston, and one smart mesh. And then when it comes to your hideout upgrades, to start off with the supply crate, you are going to need 2,177 K marks, 15 nickel four aluminium scrap and two ICA scripts for the level three of the supply crate. When it comes to the prospector's quarters upgrade time for the level four, you go into the 5,086 K marks, two aluminium scraps, one print resin, as well as five ICA scripts. And then when it comes to the quarters upgrade for the level six upgrade, you're going to need 18 aluminium scrap, nine Kotec multi-tools, as well as six Marauder flesh. You're going to also need 16,000 K marks. And of course, don't forget to be checking out the cyclefrontier.wiki. This is the official Wikipedia for the Cycle Frontier. And the thing that we're going to be checking out today is over on the right hand side where it says the interactive map. Once you actually click on this, it does show you a interactive mini map. And then if we type in scrap on the left hand side and then select aluminium scrap and then click the little search icon, it shows you a bunch of numbers on the screen. These correspond to how many spawns there are in the area. So if we click on base camp, it will zoom us in and you can see that there is 28 spawns right here. But really in Crescent Falls, this is the better location when it comes to aluminium scrap. So you can see right here, there is an awful a lot amount in the spawns in the area. Now the starport admin does actually have 53, or well, the spot starport landing, sorry, does have 53 spawns. Of course, you've got the admin area as well as the starport warehouse. I mean, overall, you can see that is a very common area for spawning. And it looks like favelas also got a decent amount of spawns in the, well, they're both abandoned, but in the main favela as well as the abandoned favela over to the eastern area. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m. GMT, which is around about 2 a.m. EST. Also, do not forget to check out our Discord as well as the website, thecyclefrontierhelpline.com, as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the Discord. As well, don't forget to check out the 
official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a special thank you to Mr. IR Bribe, Justin ASDF, Freddy, and Beansy for your continued support.